Installing a multi-card reader into your computer is actually pretty easy. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to install the uh, Rosewheel five and a quarter inch multi-card reader with USB 2.0 ports, 3.0 ports, eSATA, and of course the multi-card reader. Install that into an HP Z820 workstation. This is going to be similar for any other style of computer or any other style of uh, multi-card reader. This is what you get in the box. We've already unboxed it here. You can see the box is now empty, but there's the box if you want to look at it. There is the back if you want to read that. All right, enough of that. Obviously, you get your instruction manual. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right, we're going to go through and hook up, hook up everything here. All right. Now, if you don't have all of the ports, like maybe you don't have an internal uh, 3.0 port for your USB, that's fine. You can just let it hang free and just uh, just not use those two ports. We'll go and pull this thing out of the uh, package. Look at it real quick. All right, so there is the unit, multi-card reader stuff up top, USB 2.0, USB 3.0, and eSATA. Nice to have all of that stuff on the front. Nice brushed metal uh, frame there. So this is a five and a quarter inch. They, of course, make uh, three and a half inch as well. But since we have that five and a quarter on the front, this is what uh, we purchased. On the back, this is what the back of the unit looks like. This is your, or the SATA power port. We're going to hook all this up. Here's your USB 2.0 connection. Goes right to your motherboard. Uh, the SATA connection here goes to your motherboard. And then our 3.0, which will uh, go to your motherboard as well. Or we're going to actually put it in, in a USB 3.0 card. All right, let's go ahead and install this. So the first thing we need to do is make room for our card reader in one of these five and a quarter slots. So for the HP Z820, we this is a toolless case, so we can just pull this here and literally just slide that out. Now we have space. Feed all the cables through, and then we'll just slide this in. All right, so now it's installed. Now, even though this is a toolless case, because it's not, you know, the full width, you can still push back some. And I, of course, don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a screw in right there. One of the included, included screws. Just pop that right in. All right, so now whenever we press on it, it stays where it should be. Thanks to that one screw. So now what we need to do is connect all of the cables. All right, so obviously we're inside the computer and obviously it's turned off and unplugged from the wall. Now, in no necessarily particular order, let's start plugging things in. So here's the power for our card reader. And that goes into a plug that looks like this from your power supply. This will only go in one way, okay? That's what the plugs look like, SATA power into this. Just plugs right in. That's the wrong way. Turn it around. Done. Now we'll go with the SATA cable for our eSATA on the front of our multi-card reader. And that's going to go into one of these ports down here. It could be either of these ports or it could be any of these ports actually. All right. Again, only goes in one way. So just look at the port, see how it goes in and plug it in. There we go. Just that easy. Next up is our USB 2.0 cable right here, and that will plug in to something that looks like this, right to the internal USB 2.0 header. You can see it says USB 2.0 on it there, and this cable will only go in one way. So if you don't know what way, just look, you know, look at the cable, and you'll see that it will only go in there one way. Match that up, and then plug it in. And lastly, we have the USB 3.0 connector, the 19 pin. Now, I don't have any 19 pin connectors on my board, at least none that are free, so I'm going to plug this in to this 19 pin connector right there. You'll probably have some on your on your motherboard. If you do use those, they will of course be marked USB 3. So let me go ahead and plug this in right here. Only goes in one way. All right, so that is everything. Our USB 3, our USB 2, our SATA port, and of course the power port there. So now what you wanna do is go through here and make sure all of your cables are secured and in a place where they're not actually hitting uh, anything inside the case. Then put everything back together, put your uh, cover back on, plug in your computer, and go ahead and turn it on.
And here we are in Windows, and I already have an SD card attached. Whenever you attach an SD card, you will get that blue light. I have a USB 2 key attached, USB 3, and a hard drive connected via e SATA. There's no drivers because, again, all of our ports are connected directly to, you know, to the motherboard. So if I go to this PC, you'll see that right here is that SD card. Right here, we have one of the sticks. Right here, we have another one of the sticks. And right here is uh, that e SATA hard drive. So everything is working uh, perfectly here. Pop into this hard drive, get really good speeds with that port. Very good. Of course, your speeds are going to be different depending on, of course, the drive. Uh, the SD card, a little bit slow, but again, that really comes down to your card and to a bunch of other things as well. All right, so if I try to pull this over, I'm going to get probably about one mega speed or so on this here. Of course, it's going to fluctuate. Really depends, uh, you know, on the card and a lot of a lot of other things there. But that is how you connect a multi-card reader to your computer. In this case, we're using the Roswell, uh, five and a quarter inch with the USB two and USB three and E SATA ports on it. Those hookup instructions will be pretty much the same for any kind of multi-card reader that you want to add.